Vladimir Pravdichnominsky was born in 1879, in Kiev, and studied at the medical department of Kazan University. In 1902, he switched to physics and mathematics, graduating with a chemistry diploma in 1907. He then proceeded to study physical chemistry in the laboratories of the Kiev Polytechnics Institute. In 1908, Pravdichnominsky switched again to the physiology lab, and this is the most important move he made. He studied with Vesel Chagovets, a close associate of Puflov and Bakhtarev. Chagovets secured funding to buy an Eindhoven string galvanometer, and it was with this revolutionary machine, Pravdichnominsky began to experiment. Soon he was able to record brain and muscle electrical signals. In 1913, his research led to two important publications, first in the Archiv for Physiology, about action currents in the central nervous system of a frog, and a historical publication in the Zentralblatt for Physiology. He found spontaneous electric fluctuations through non-invasive electric measuring in a dog's brain. In 1917, Pravdichnominsky graduated with honors as a medical doctor. Times were perilous, the Russian Revolution did not favor nobility, and Pravdichnominsky was from noble descent. Nevertheless, he became a doctor in a Red Army hospital. Then he fell ill with typhus. After his recovery he was appointed chair of physiology at the Kiev Polytechnics Institute. However, he was considered to be a suspicious anti-Soviet element and under constant surveillance. This culminated in him being accused with the terrible crime of being counter-revolutionary. In 1924, Pravdichnominsky miraculously survived the accusation and was appointed a research position in the Physics Mathematics Division, even winning the Mechnikov Award in 1926. His luck ran out 1929, when he was arrested for being part of a conspiracy. After months of interrogation, he was sent to three years of exile in Arkhangelsk. The cold, northern climate almost killed him. He slowly made his way back to Kiev. These were even more dangerous times. Stalin was purging the country, and old bourgeois professors, like Pravdichnominsky, were targeted especially. Then, the Second World War spelled even more trouble, and it took until 1949 for the Soviet authorities to recognize the enormous importance of this brilliant researcher. He was given a laboratory to study electrocerebrography and general physiology at the Academy of Sciences of the USSR. He enjoyed this relative success until his death in 1952.